Welcome everyone. In this video I will teach you all about keywords and show you some free ways you can do some basic keyword research. So let's get started. Uh, before we begin, I want to take a minute or two just to explain the long tail to you. The long tail keyword, also referred to as just the long tail, is basically an expansion of a core keyword um, to include numerous combinations and permutations of the keywords. So, for example, if bags is a core keyword, then the example of a long tail keyword is affordable Gucci bags in Australia. As you can see, it is a lot more specific, whereas the short tail is very broad and general. Uh, a Google engineer once quoted that every single day, 25% of Google searches are unique. This means that Google finds new search queries all the time. The amount of, uh, the amount of these new long search queries are what makes the long tail so important in search engine marketing. To illustrate the importance of the long tail keyword, here is a graph that shows how, how the long tail keyword performs versus the short tail. As you can see, the, sh the short tail keywords are the ones on the left of the graph, and they have a very high volume, uh, high vo number of searches per day compared to the long tail, which is on the right. The long tail has a, a low volume of searches, but it also has a very low to no competition, and is therefore much easier to get cheap traffic with. Uh, the long tail is also very specific and targeted, and therefore often yields a very uh, a much better conversion rate than the, the general short tail keywords. For pay per click campaigns, they also come with uh, a lower cost per click due to you know due to the low competition. Uh, also, as you can see here, uh, when comparing the amount of searches uh, for each type, the hundreds and thousands of unique long tail keyword search queries performed on search engines every single day make up for its lack for searches uh, per keyword. So, in, in pay-per-click, we uh, want to mainly target the long tail keywords because they generally do convert much better and also come with a lot uh, cheaper cost per click. However, that's not to say that you should forget about the short tail keywords altogether. Uh, as each niche is different, only continuous testing and measuring can tell uh, which are the right keywords to target for your niche. So, uh, now that you understand the long tail keyword, let's, start, uh, let's get started and create our first initial keyword list. Okay, here we are at the Google homepage at google.com. Uh, first of all, what I want you to do is just perform a search for Google Keyword Tool. Click on the first result that comes up. So that one. You'll be taken to um, a page that will look like this one. Uh, having the descriptive words or phrases option selected. Uh, so make sure you have that option selected. Type in your, your main keyword in here. So for this example, we'll use skincare as our example again. Skincare. Type in the capture code. And then click the get keyword ideas button. Google now go and find other keywords that they think are relevant to our core keyword and we'll show the results here. Um, what I usually do is uh, I just go and add all these keywords and uh, the purpose here is to generate a list of keyword ideas and then we'll go back and we'll go back to the list and take them later on. So uh, to do this quickly and efficiently scroll down until you see one of these links that says add or and then a number. Click on it. Uh, make sure you've haven't missed others at all. Now, I do this when I have a reasonable budget for testing, but if you have a small budget, you may want to start with you know just a handful of keywords first until you make some sales and get some cash flow before you add more keywords into your campaign. Also, you don't have to stop at skincare. Uh, if you have more than one main keyword, you can type the other main keywords in here and to get more uh, keyword ideas for, for your list. Now, Google rewards you for relevancy by giving you a lower cost per click for your keywords. What this means is that if Google thinks that the keywords that you are bidding for is, irrele uh, is relevant to the content of uh, on your landing page, then they will give you a higher quality score, which in turn will give you a, a lower cost per click. Uh, so up here, uh, select the website content option and then put in the, the URL of your landing page 
skincarestore.com.au and then click on the get keyword ideas button what happens now is that Google will go to uh, our landing page and report back to, uh, a list of keywords that they think our website is about so think about it guys if Google thinks that the w your website is about these particular keywords that means that according to Google's eyes your landing page uh, are relevant, is relevant to, to, to these keywords what this also means is that by bidding for these keywords you'll get a higher quality score because Google is already telling you that these words are what they think your landing page is about so there's definite relevancy in there okay so what I do is I just go and add all these keywords as well add them add that add that add that add once again, I do this because I have a, a, a reasonable size budget to, to test my keywords. Uh, in the end, I'll, I'll end up tweaking this list to like a very a much smaller uh, list of keywords. The, I'll get rid of the ones that aren't profitable and, and maximize the ones that are. So for now, uh, I'm just going to add all of them. Now, if you know a major competitor in your niche, uh, in AdWords, you can also put the website or landing page in here and basically steal the keywords. <laughs> I know it's, it's it's sneaky, but this this tactic is great because um, there will be often times where uh, your competition will find profitable keywords that you may not have thought of at all. So you can bid on their keywords and make some money with it, with it too. Anyway, uh, when when you finished uh, building your keyword list, you'll see on the right hand column a huge list of keywords that you've just added and um, this is you know a list of possible keywords that you can use for your campaign uh, next just oops, just export uh, this list to a CSV file by clicking on this link here CSV for Excel and then save it to your computer so this window will pop up just save it to your computer and I'll show you what to do with this in the next video For more videos like this one, go to www.paperclickacademy.com.